Hello, in this video demonstration I will show you a new feature added to xcard.net version 0.6. This update enables source link feature which allows you to debug original source code of xcard.net library directly from an installed NuGet package without a need to download the project directly. Let's start. Here I have a multibody sheet metal part and I have two macros. First one allows to rename cut list features using custom properties and another one allowing to rename flat patterns with the cut list feature names. And those macros usually would run together. For that I have created a simple add-on using xcut.net which will allow me to select multiple macros and run them in a batch. So I have put a breakpoint and invoke run group of macros command. I'm just going to have a dialog to select files. I'm just going to select those two files, click open and use xcut.net API to run that macro. So first I'm just going to open that macro and here I have an exception. And the exception itself is not very descriptive. And it happens somewhere inside that run method, which is a part of the Xarial xcut nuget package. And I do not have a source code on this machine. xcut.net is open source, so what I can do, I can just pull the source code from the repository, compile it locally, then add reference to that project, and then I will be able to troubleshoot. But the problem with that approach is there are too many steps I need to follow, and also I need to make sure that the version of my NuGet package corresponds to the corresponding commit in my source code, which adds some complexity. Let me show you a simple way. Xcut.net version 0.6 benefits from the feature added to Visual Studio 2019 called SourceLink. So let's go to Tools Options in Visual Studio, navigate into the Debugging tab, untick Enable Just My Code option, and tick Enable SourceLink Support option. Now let's go to the Symbols tab and check NuGet Org Symbols Server. So we're done with setup, let's now start our project and debug through that source code. I will start SolidWorks directly from Visual Studio, I will click Command, I will run my code to that line. So let's select our macros. And on that line I can now use F11 or Step Into button to go directly into my source code. You will have a warning telling you that some source code is going to be downloaded from GitHub. It actually tells you which one is that. You can click download source and continue debugging. And you can see that now I can debug the source code of xcut.net directly from my machine. And you can see it is not a decompiled version, it is actual source code with all the comments preserved. Let's continue troubleshooting that issue. So I'm just going to put breakpoint here. Select macros again. It will now download another source code file. I will be able to step into it to understand where my issue is. So in my case, for example, you can see that there is no entry points in this macro. So that's why it's going to have an exception here. So this particular issue is caused by the fact that one of the macros doesn't have any parameterless function as an entry point. So you can see my main function has a test argument in here. So if I would remove that argument and run my code again, that should work correctly. As my source file already cached, it is no longer going to redownload that and can go directly into the debugging of that source code. So now you can see that my entry point is not null and it's going to run macro correctly. Let's run another macro and validate the result. And we can indeed see that both macros have been executed as my cut list features are renamed and my flat patterns are named as well. So as you can see how easily can you debug the original source code of xcut.net directly from your project without the need to relink your libraries. For performance and security reasons I would only recommend to use source link when necessary and disable those options and symbols when you do not use source link. Thank you for watching this video.